How to crochet the sand dollar motif. And we're going to be using one ball of Biso Bear yarn, which is sport weight organic cotton. And we're also going to be using a size F crochet hook, which is also 3.75 millimeter. You want to tie your yarn onto your crochet hook, whichever way you prefer. You can use a slip knot, a solid knot, whatever works best for you. And you want to chain four. slip stitch into the fourth chain from your hook. Remember to not count the loop on your crochet hook, that's your working loop. So we'll count back four and slip stitch into that first chain. Chain three. This chain three counts as a double crochet and we're now going to work 15 more double crochets into the chain four ring. A double crochet is yarn over, insert your hook into the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We'll do that again. Yarn over, insert your hook in the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now if we count the chain three as our first double crochet and two more, we have a total of three so far. We need 13 more for a total of 16 double crochets in the ring. We now have 16 double crochets in the ring if we include the chain three at the beginning of the round as our first double crochet. You want to slip stitch to the top of the first stitch at the beginning of the round to join. Well our first double crochet is a chain three so you want to count up to the third or top chain of that chain three and slip stitch into it and this is what the end of round one should look like. Round two begins with a chain three that counts as our first double crochet and we're going to work two more double crochets into that very same stitch. Now for our next stitch we're going to work a front post double crochet and what that means is we're going to yarn over our hook, insert our hook around the post of the next stitch from front to back, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you see how it raises the stitch and so we have this raised ridge here where we front post double crocheted over the double crochet in the row below. Okay, in the next stitch we're going to work three double crochets. And in the next stitch, we're going to work a front post double crochet. Okay, and this is what we're going to repeat around. Three double crochets in the next stitch and front post double crochet around the next stitch.
Okay, we're at the end of round two now. And we worked three double crochets in one stitch, then front post double crochet around the next stitch. And we did that sequence for a total of eight times. So now we should have eight sections of three double crochets in one stitch and eight front post double crochet stitches. We're ready to join, so we're going to join in the top chain of the chain three from the beginning of the round with a slip stitch, and this is what the end of round two should look like. Round three begins with a chain three, which counts as a double crochet. We're going to double crochet a second time in that same first stitch. one double crochet in the next stitch, two double crochets in the next stitch, and front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet. Okay, and this is what we're going to repeat around. Two double crochets in the next stitch, one in the next, two in the next, front post double crochet in the next. And repeat that all the way around. Okay, we've made it around round three, and we should now have eight sections of five double crochets in each section and eight sections of one front post double crochet. We're ready to join, so we're going to slip stitch into the top chain of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. This is what the end of round three should look like. Round four begins with a chain one and single crochet in the first stitch. We're going to chain five, skip four stitches, one, two, sorry, skip three stitches, one, two, three, and single crochet in the next. So now we're going to repeat around as follows. Chain five, skip three stitches, one, two, three, and single crochet in the next.
For the last chain 5 space, we're going to chain 2 and double crochet into the first single crochet at the beginning of the round to join. That chain 2 and double crochet gives us the same linear space of chain 5, but it positions us into the top center of that chain 5 space, so we're ready to begin the next round in the center of the chain 5 space. So we should now have 12 chain 5 spaces. This is what the end of round 4 should look like. Round 5 begins with a chain 1, single crochet in the first chain 5 space. We're going to chain 3. We're going to work a 3 double crochet cluster in the same space. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through 2. Yarn over, insert your hook in the space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through 2. Yarn over, insert your hook in the space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through 2. You should now have 4 loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all 4 loops. So now we have a chain 3, a 3 double crochet cluster. We're going to do a chain 3 pico, just chain 3, and slip stitch into the 3rd chain from your hook. Chain 3, and single crochet in the same chain 5 space. chain 5, single crochet in the next chain 5 space, chain 5, single crochet in the next chain 5 space, chain 5, and this is what we're going to repeat around. We're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what the end of round 5 should look like and also what the end of the first motif looks like. First motif meaning one motif that hasn't been joined to any other motifs yet. You should have four corners and four sets of three chain 5 spaces. 
please subscribe to my channel for more videos.